Hey guys, good morning. It's me, Luis from Video Car. One more day, nice day. It's Friday, so you know what that means. So today we have this one. It's a 15 a book Land Rover, Land Rover book. So I'm gonna show you how to save those kind of pins on the sides of any Land Rover. So because believe it or not, I can't believe I'm in Land Rover place and they don't want to buy a, a single plastic bag of clips because it's a least return so they don't want to put any money except for the glass and labor so but it's fine for me but sometimes this situation made me be mad a little bit because I can't believe this expensive car has to reuse the old parts but there's nothing I can do so I'm going to show you how to save these guys so first you need is your drill bit set you're going to use 116 drill bit you're going to use one of these dovers and you got to cut it you're going to make this one you see it's a little sharp but it's not completely in a point sharp it's going to be flat so what you're gonna do is only it's very easy so you're gonna choose anything like this and you're gonna make a little hole in the middle first you're gonna hold hot, faster just let it let it cut don't push it in when you're in go out remember these kind of things uh kind of pins there uh they don't have nothing inside so after that you're gonna insert a little pin okay all the way in you gotta touch the metal okay complete the metal now after that you're gonna take take anything you get a hook a screwdriver a small size no matter which one you're gonna just hit it on this way and you're gonna start hitting to inside okay after that the only you need is use your uh, you know hook to or whatever of this kind of hook no matter which one you use and you're gonna take this one out. Just careful. Okay, you got that one right there. And now this one, the only you have to do is pull it out, and that's it. Okay, so this is the only way I found in my experience uh, saving these kind of things. After that, the only you have to do is put it inside here, and that's it. Okay, so you can take this one out, and you have your pin safe don't worry about the hole don't make any problem you just push it out a little bit right there or remember you have to go because what the problem is when we're pushing it we, we, this this thing's always loose so remember after that you got to put from inside here and put it in a place push in and that's it okay guys so i hope you like this tip it's really nice so i'm gonna make, uh, finish the video remember today i'm gonna take this one after this one remember this kind of hooks right here you got to slide it out this one take off is the cow. I'm gonna use my um, my uh, Pro 6 today. I wanna use it. So let me finish, take all these pits out and i see you in the next shot, guys. So hope this uh, video like you and you can use it because sometimes these pins are really difficult. You can use for any kind of Land Rover, any, okay? So because I so many people use the rivets, you can use rivets, but I don't like too much because sometimes they lose a little bit or sometimes people use urethane and they put the fingers or butyl tape. So you don't have to do that. Just remember, one drill bit, 116, double the metal for the double, cut it, put it inside the hole, and that's it, okay? I'm gonna take another one, and you can see this one. Remember, go fast, don't push in, just let it cut. If you're pushing, you're gonna push the pin inside. So, after you make the hole, insert this one, right there. Let's to drive it in here. After that, open it. Slide in. Save it. Okay, guys. So that's really easy. Okay. So try this one when you have one of these one, and you will be happy. Okay, guys. Let me take this trip all the parts and see you in the next shot. Okay. See you next. Hi, it's me Luis from Video Car. I'm sorry about the last week's no videos, no posts, nothing. Maybe out of the business? No. What happened is we have a lot of, you know, many, many jobs. Sometimes it's difficult to me, you know, post the videos because remember in our jobs, sometimes we're really, really busy. We're gonna, we're gonna do something. Just one, two, three, let's go. So that's why sometimes no videos on a couple of weeks. But now, 
the day is slow that's good because finally i have a break so i'm going to use just one for this morning maybe a couple in the afternoon maybe not maybe tomorrow it's okay but today i have just this one is the mx mk sorry the lincoln 2012 so we're going to use the windshield remember the 1845 from pilkington that's a good one so we're going to do the windshield now on this side we have my lady body mongoose now this one uh, the first one i have was different than this one what we're talking about this is an improvement for this tool we got different suction cups this is more deep and you see the logo little body www.littybodypro.com so this one now is improved than the other before so now i've got my line already set my hooks on the bottom so let's go so we're going to replace this glass because i want to get out of here remember i'm working on the quick set so uh, soon i have it that's why actually that's why i don't post videos because i'm working on that tool so that's why okay guys so i'm gonna set my tool here remember just push a little bit all right so remember we're gonna just make this one free all right and now you know in this technique you can just clamp inside or outside most of the time you clamp outside but sometimes the glass is dirt sometimes the glass is cracked so if you have that problem you can change the technique a little bit if you want but you want to follow the manufacturing instruction it's okay so all you're going to do is attach on your clamp inside the anchor and we're going to set the line now remember when you push the line inside from inside to outside remember which side is going to be left and right so in this case i got the line that's why i left the, right, uh, the right, uh, red line or if you don't have it just remember where it's going to be in this case if i go like this the bottom remember it's going to be um the bottom is going to be the, the the left and the top the right so now remember put the dash protector because you can make a little damage sometimes so that's why you have to cover your dashboard there you go just go all the way in And after that, let me see if I can hook with my S by T a little bit more. Remember, this one is a little dip, not too much, but just a little bit right there. And uh, let me catch my multi, my old tools and one from Equalizer. Because what I do remember is I want to hook this one. Because sometimes when you're retracting that uh, T insert line, sometimes the lines come inside again and it's a game i don't like to play so pull it out there you go and now we're gonna just pull right there open the loop you got the right left and the right now this one remember with on this part so you're gonna do is just switch and i just pull the line Now go start on the top. If you want to take the moldings out, it's more easy because when you do inside clamp or uh, anchor inside, you cannot use the you know this one to just go in. But you can do is only open the moldings, go in, and with this one, just push in like this and just follow all the way up. You see, and you go on the same way. Okay, so I'm gonna just insert the line around and see you in the next shot. Okay, guys, see you next. Continue and show you how to insert the line. The only you're gonna do is put the uh, stick like this. Some they are more tight, this one is not. You can just go like this. You see, you can go really, really easy. No problems at all. So you can go this way, or if you wanna make this one more faster, pull the molding out and just loop around and that's it. Okay, so you wanna just take this one. But if it's the RNA, you can do this one and just save the molding that's what I do in these body shops but today this is broken so I don't have to do it now remember start on the outside because this one if you need more line or retracting the line it's gonna be more easy okay okay uh, the problem is when uh, if someone already put the windshield on we have sometimes too much glue and sometimes our line is difficult to fit in inside or under the molding in that case just pull the molding 
all right you see really easy now we're gonna just follow the line right there the hooks there you go over here and just retracting your line you see i'm a little short here all right and that's it now remember the drill this one is not good okay if i ob is good for a couple of times but after i'm using for any system or a lot it's gonna be a problem sometimes it's smoking now so try to just get a new ones and the better brand like a milwaukee d wall or another makitas because this one is not very good after a lot you use this one it starts smoking the problem with this one is sometimes this is how you learn depending on how you master the drills because when you're cutting you can feel the tension on your finger so that's the deal you gotta go more slow than in the corner just reducing the speed the same like when you applying the uh, the urethane on the glass when you go more uh, faster or you want to go more higher or you want to go more thin more more low you go just pushing more faster and run more faster so that's what you're gonna do the same training your fingers now you can play with the gears here every corner you can reduce the the torque and when you pass it you back up the speed again but if you learn how to use the finger you don't have to do that okay so i'm gonna just put this one here you can get this one i'm gonna go full speed remember i love full speed on these ones oh sorry about it. i didn't engage this one so now we're gonna engage here there you go now remember the rule sorry i have this one i got a crack here so it's crossing behind my cap so now remember every corner is really tight so how are you gonna start slowly don't go fast okay you're gonna push it you go this one this one whatever you you master it's gonna be you see look at my fingers pushing slow but after i pass that one i feel free that's when i I can go faster. You see that? I can feel it. Every time I feel resistant or, or it's more, uh, you can even, the noise, the system, your finger, everything, energy is transferred to the line, to the drill. So you can feel no here, no here. Remember, the gear is gonna just continue and cut it, no matter what. If the line is gonna snap, or the line is gonna cut something, or the line continue and cut it because the gear is making that. The, gear, the, the drill, all the energy is in the gears the same way, but here, is the key that's when the problem is happening many guys has a lot of lines breaking i mean snapping because they don't know when to stop so i go fast you see you hear the noise i reduce depend what are you working okay so i go in here reduce faster reduce right there no more after i pass this one i'm gonna go that way okay you can go even here but i like more transfer all that cut for the other side okay so let me take this one it's new that's why it's a little tight a couple of times it's gonna be more easy you see the grease start pulling it out a little bit so remember just take that one i'm gonna go the other side this is a brand new system so you see the grease coming up a little bit that's normal it's got a grease inside so it's not a big deal here after a couple of times it's gonna just stop let me just clean a little bit because I don't want to just start messing around with the grease all right so this line is because I got the crack over here so I'm crossing so there you go <coughs> remember we're gonna follow and go all the way to the bottom now I'm gonna take this one out because I don't need it here there you go <clears throat> okay now I'm gonna use this one over here
gauge. All right. So now I'm gonna make my cut over here, and when I get exactly on this area, I'm gonna transfer just my cup from here, and I finish the cut. Because what happens is, remember the the resistance is we're gonna cross the line like this, and the cut is gonna be more stronger. But when you pull in that way and this way, always the glass starts to go on this way, and sometimes people crack over there or crack in the corner. So this one gonna prevent that one. So let me follow this line. I'm gonna be, bring my stick. I like one of the sticks in particular because this one it's got a bent. It's really nice. Let me see what it's at. I'm using that one yesterday. I'm sorry. I always has a mess in my tool books. I know you guys want to see this one organized, but sometimes I can. I know it's not an excuse, but believe me, when you don't have a time, you don't have a time. Okay, let's continue here. Okay, so remember, we're gonna protect the corner for the pitch wheel right there. Go all the way. And the top, only because the gravity stop is the problem. See, I broke the gravity stop. Okay, follow the You see, I reduce the speed because I'm going close to the attachment. Gravity stop. Go straight right here. You see, it's very strong. Of course, I just put in tension here. I didn't check my cup, so I have to stop before. Remember, we're gonna transfer the cup over here. It's just I was keeping my eyes on top to break in the gravity stop. So you have to stop over here move the cup and just move it okay so there you go okay so in this way so we're gonna do is just finish the cut you can just keep here the distance or you can go without breaking because it's not gonna cut it's not gonna break you can go more slowly on this part you see my finger is working there and you see the line when you get that part it's gonna cut straight you see that no resisting at all Yeah, see. Okay. Okay, guys. So that's why you can cross the lines and in inside like this. You know, you can just put the lines when you anchor here. Just is here. Remember, when you get in this distance, just move it, finish the cut, and cross. And it's gonna be the the um, the tension because sometimes when you get the anchor here, sometimes the anchors pop because sometimes you got big gaps. Or uh, if in case it's broken here or got it cracked so it's too low or this is kind of dirt even you cleaning sometimes it's enough to pop your anchor just try inside and that will help a lot okay guys so we're gonna finish over here let me take this one out all right so remember just train your finger okay that's the key you can reduce the gears um, on, on your drill but to me it's a little more practical uh, learn how to use my my finger be more sensitive when you're cutting with your with your finger pushing the tiger I mean so we got that one out so now on this one so I don't have many tools in my truck today because the last week I have a, a 10 people tried to go in my truck and steal my tools they didn't do any damage but I catch two guys walking around because probably they saw me working in one job and they tried to see, you know, what can I, what can take. So the only I have in my truck now is my Pro, my uh, uh, Spider Tree and my Mongoose. The rest of the tools, BBT, the Orange Bat, the Spider 2, the Raptor, the Viper, all those tools, uh, even the Pro set is in my storage warehouse because I don't want to have any problem like, you know, people stolen my, my tools. So today I'm going to use the Little Body and that's it guys because what i'm doing is every week or every two three days i'm going to use the same tool like today i bring this one but this one is going to be in a shop so i'm going to use for three days the mongoose three days the spider tree three days the uh, raptor three days the viper so it's going to be two or three days for one tool i don't want to keep all my tools here because a lot of money in tools so if somebody broke in breaking my car is going to store it's going to take the lottery it's going to win because it's a lot of money so okay guys so let me just get my tool away because yeah, it was really bad. I saw these people here and when I asked him what we're doing, they're just walking around my truck and you know, when I have those big locks in the back, so I think they, they realize I have something expensive. So I don't want to have uh, any problem with those people trying to steal my tools. There's a lot of money there. 
so so that's why okay so let's check the results guys and let's see what happened ah. okay you see very nice no damage and i was really fast you saw me pass these areas faster and i didn't have any problem no damage no cuts no marks nothing okay this is the part you have to protect when because you're, you're, you're pulling the line from inside it's going to make a burn a cut in this area you got to protect that area you see nothing i was really fast no damage my hairliner is perfect i broke the gravity stuff this is stronger so i know it that the hard ones so it's really nice okay guys so that's the way to cut on fast speed but remember feeling you gotta feel that and you can just make the cut in high speed low speed whatever you want to do okay guys so i'm gonna set the glass i mean my little body and see you on the next just for shot just to set we finish now if yeah so we're ready to set the glass how very primer i already use my activator so i'm gonna use sika max 60 uh remember this one is a free so i clean with my beta breed my beta clean um, I'm gonna use just the activator on the glass, so it's fine. So I'm gonna just set that one now. One of my suction cups is bad, so I already replaced the new cup, but it's giving me problems. So it's that one right there, so I have to use one hand. So it's gonna be a little difficult, but not impossible. So I'm gonna go here, let me sit here, and just one cap this time. So what I'm gonna do is just pull on this way. I already got my flag right there and there you go okay I need to replace the probably the pump because of what I'm doing so now I'm gonna just take my arm here just take the flag out oh, nice okay guys so we finished here so i have to make another stops just a couple of i call for a glass leaking it's not my job but they want to just see if they can save the glass but i never save the glass we gotta make the money okay We don't have to climb because it's a one set and that's all. Pin number is fine. It's alignment, all done. Okay guys, so we finished here. So I have to just pull those kind of stickers over here. Now remember, pull the stickers in Texas is illegal. So you cannot put this ones I put on a car or you can have a fee for a lot of money. So what I'm doing is just pull it out, put it inside the car and as the customers has to do it, they want to put it back on, customers do it. You do this one and you be trapped by the troopers or by the people in the city, the inspectors, you can have a big, big fee for this kind of sticker, okay? So don't do that, that's illegal. Pull the, uh, save the sticker as put on the cars. If the, if the sticker is not void, it's just fifteen dollars or twenty bucks in the city. I mean, try me the one new one again, but if it's a void because it expired, has fifty dollars. Okay, guys, so don't do it because it's illegal. So now, one more thing. I know many people. I have a lot of people ask me about this table making this. So I know people love this table. So what I'm doing, I'm gonna just post uh, the video, although plans how to make one of these tables. Okay, but I'm sorry, guys, but this time it's gonna cost a little money because. I'm developing one new tool it's going to be a setup tool but it's very big what i'm saying big is because it's an expensive one it's nothing you see on this market before but it's expensive to make the prototype so i'm going to need the money selling the plants on the table to build the tool and later we post the video in this channel okay so you guys want to do that i'm going to just put the link in my bottom in the youtube channel and um, you can just link pay and you have the plans to make this table but that's going to be after i have a hundred members a hundred plans sold because that's the way i need to make the money for um for make that project i have so you want it this time you have to pay i'm sorry guys it's not gonna be free okay guys so see you tomorrow 
or late because today is slow I gotta stop to check it out reseals little pull out but not too much it's good because I, I have a time to work in my projects okay guys so tomorrow see you tomorrow and take care for yourself bye bye there you go boy